Welcome to the 31st Annual ML Kart Race in Stochastic Optimization Arena. I'm your co-host, Adam. And I'm Net. Our racers are getting ready to drive down the track. On the way, they'll encounter mystery boxes containing one of four items. Getting the good items and avoiding the bad ones can make or break a racer's game. Racers don't know what's in the boxes ahead of time. The contents are random, drawn from a distribution that depends on the box location. Even then, the racers must figure out how to drive as fast as possible. To put it in sports lingo, they have to make decisions under uncertainty via stochastic optimization. I interviewed two of our contestants before the race. Let's cut to. I'm here with two of our racers, Mud and Polly. Mud, what's your game time strategy? I'm a traditional model-based learner, so I use boxes' locations to predict a distribution over their contents. I try to make these predictions as accurate as possible. If I can perfectly predict what's in the boxes, I can drive perfectly too. What about you, Polly? I'm an end-to-end -end policy optimizer, so I use boxes' locations to directly predict how I should drive. My predictions are good if I finish the race quickly. Okay, folks, here they go. A strong start for all racers. But oh, Polly spins out! Polly's policy optimization strategy can require a lot of data to converge, and it looks like that hurt him this year. The other two are still going, but oh, Maud takes a setback. Maud's traditional model learning strategy works well when the data can converge perfectly, but that's rare. Meanwhile, the model's errors can really hurt driving choices. And there's Taz with the win. Congrats, Taz. What's the secret behind your success? I realized that the best strategy was to combine what Maud and Polly do. Like Maud, I learn a model to predict what's in the boxes. But inspired by Polly, I then adjust the parameters of that model based on how well it helps me drive. I call this task-based end-to-end model learning in stochastic optimization. That seems complicated. I mean, there are some details. Adjusting model parameters this way involves taking gradients through the result of an optimization problem. But the basic idea is simple. Learn a model not solely for predictive accuracy, but to optimize performance on the task you care about. So this race was clearly contrived for illustration. Do you have any real life examples showing this model works? Yeah. Our model lets us stock inventory at less cost than traditional approaches, reduces the cost of generator scheduling on the power grid by almost 40%, and yields reliable performance on energy grid battery arbitrage, where prices are highly stochastic. Wow, that sounds awesome. I think I'm a new fan of task-based end-to-end model learning in stochastic optimization. optimization.